While not as publicized as the BCS conferences, the Mountain West was just as competitive as almost all of the BCS conferences. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you on CBSSports.com, breaking down the Mountain West tournament. And for the first time in the conference's history, three teams tied for the regular season crown. BYU, Utah, and New Mexico all tied at 12-4 and four in conference play, but because of the tiebreakers, the Cougars earned the top seed in the conference tournament for the third straight year. San Diego State just beat UNLV in a very important home game and earned the four seed. Your gift? Well, you get to play UNLV again, but this time on the Runnin' Rebels home floor. And that's something important to remember about this tournament. It is in Las Vegas, and it has been in each of the last two years, with the Rebels winning the tournament both times despite not winning the regular season crown. Let's bring in CBS College Sports' Steve Lapis to break down this tournament and uh, what's at stake. And you can see some of this tournament on CBS College Sports, and Steve Lapis uh, will be part of the broadcast for this tournament. Steve, you've been watching this tournament, uh, this conference all year. You've been calling games. Some people would say that there could be as many as five teams that make the NCAA tournament from this conference. Could you see that happening? Well, I can't see five getting in. And as you said before, what a great league. Three teams tied for first. The fourth place team's a game behind. Very competitive league. A great league. Do not see. They have five in play right now, but no way five will get in because I think the UNLV San Diego State game is going to be an elimination game for somebody. UNLV won at Louisville, swept BYU. They've got some good things, but they were nine and seven in the league, and they've lost twice to San Diego State. San Diego State doesn't have as good a resume, though their RPI is higher. But if they beat UNLV for a third time, I just can't see UNLV getting a bit over them as well as they did in some of those other games. But Steve, how much of, the, of a factor is it that this is played at the Thomas and Mack Center? UNLV is home floor. Huge factor, but UNLV's not as good as they've been. And I tell you, Lon Kruger's done an unbelievable job. He's got four starters on his team shooting under 40% on the season, including Wink Adams, who's their best player, who has really struggled. So I just can't see UNLV winning three games in a row. It helps that it's on their floor. There's no question that helps tremendously. I just can't see him doing it this year. Not enough scoring. What about New Mexico, Steve? 12-4 in conference, winning the last five games, but it's just an okay RPI, not any notable wins outside of the conference. Uh, the Lobos get Wyoming after uh, just winning in Laramie on Saturday. Do they have to beat them again and then get to the finals to make the NCAA tournament? Very tough first round game because that Wyoming team can really score. But New Mexico, RPI 58, they need to beat Wyoming and they need to beat Utah in the semifinals and get to the championship game in order to be in the NCAA tournament. Steve, the one seed has only won this tournament twice, and uh, BYU hasn't been able to do it in each of the last two years, falling in the finals both times to UNLV on the Rebels' home floor. We've gotten that through. Uh, the Cougars, they open up against the winner of Air Force and Colorado State. What is the key for this Cougars team to win this tournament? They've got to shoot threes, and they've got to play a fast tempo. They're one of the best running teams in the country that people don't know about. Dave Rose is a tremendous offensive coach. They get up and down. They need to shoot a lot of threes in transition in order to be able to advance. All right, well, Utah is the 2 seed. They're a great threat as well with Australian center Luke Neville and uh, his near double-double a game. Uh, so Utah certainly a threat as well. Steve, who do you like in this tournament? I'm going New Mexico. New Mexico's been hot. They're out of the UNLV bracket. They get Utah in the second game. Good matchup for them. I'm going to go New Mexico. All right, you like Steve Alford, huh, to get back to the tournament? I do like them to get back to the tournament. I think they're going to win the bid in the Mountain West. All right, we'll see how it all plays out, and uh, then we'll talk about it uh, come Selection Sunday. Steve Lapis, thank you very much, sir. Enjoy the tournament. Thank you. All right, folks, for more on the Mountain West, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com, and don't forget, NCAA March Madness On Demand returns from the opening tip to the championship game. Catch every single game live online for free only with NCAA March Madness On Demand. Go to NCAA.com to find out more. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.